Hey there! Today we're going to go through some stuff to help warm the abdominals and also energize us. This sequence can be done multiple times and also can be done in times of stress if you need to get a little bit of rajastic energy out. So come with me on a little adventure. Bring the soles of your feet together and let's start from the top. Inhale, lift up. Palms and hands together. Exhale, pull through. Let's take that four more times. Inhale. And exhale to pull through. Inhale, lift up. Cycling the breath to get it connected to the present moment. Inhale. And then exhale to pull through. And this time we're going to fold forward. Inhale, lift up. And if this is your first forward fold of the day, gently move forward. You don't have to straighten the legs. So head comes down, shift the hips forward, inhale, halfway, flatten the back, exhale, step back right and step back left. And then drop the knees down just to find the alignment at first. Spread the fingertips out wide. You want to feel every divot in the earth and go ahead and tuck your toes under. Lift the legs long. You don't want your butt up. You don't want your butt down. Keep your sit bones in line with your shoulders. Take a deep inhale, engage your abdominals. Exhale, now lower the knees back down onto the earth. Pull the arms back. Make sure as you pull the arms back that you're not just bending your elbows into your sides. You wanna turn your elbows in as well. So there's an actual squeeze going on so the shoulders can roll back. Inhale, press the abdominals into the earth. Lift the chin up, just a baby cobra. Inhale. Lift up a little bit higher and exhale. Come onto the knees. Tuck the toes under. Take that inverted V on the earth. Stare at your toes. Focus on your abdominal breath. You can even lift the heels, bend the knees back again, and then find the extension. Continue to breathe the channel to the crown of the head all the way through the tip of the tongue down to the root of the spine. And then take one more sweet breath. Don't collapse your heart center. Exhale, drop the knees down. All right, we can curtsy to the side with our legs or we can cross and roll over. And as we cross and roll over, let's go ahead and move this block out of the way and lay down onto the ground. As you scoot see on down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a version of Utita. Um, and Utita is the extension Hasta is the hands. We're going to take it into an abdominal exercise, but the most important part is to make sure that you're not having space. See where my hand's going? Between your lumbar, your lower back, and the earth. So what we want to do is find that yogic belly breath. Inhale, press the tummy out, and then exhale, pull navel to spine so you have a flat back. Inhale, and then exhale. So it's reverse from what we've been taught. We want to Inhale, push the stomach out, and then exhale, pull the tummy in, versus inhaling, lifting in, and then exhaling, pushing out. Inhale, push out, exhale, pull in. Now keep that flat back, breathe out laterally, and let's take the right leg up. You're gonna interlace your fingertips just underneath the knee, inhale, and then exhale to switch. So still squeezing the sit bones, switch, inhale, and exhale. Now if the hip ever starts to pop, don't let your legs come as low and just march with it. And then make sure that the cords of your abdominals are following your legs, just one by one. And if you want to be creative, we can go ha, like it's funny. Keep the toes pointed. You might ask why I'm hawing, but you want that ha sound to help your abdominals pull back into the earth. So as you move, that shakti, that heat is moving. Two more sets. Ha. Ha, ha, ha. Exhale, bend your knees into your body, roll the shoulders down and back, circle your feet, and rock up one time. 
Now that we've rocked up, you can change your hair out if you need to. Once you do that, grab a block, put it on the side, exactly where I had mine. Cross your ankles. You can curtsy to the side if you haven't practiced jump backs yet. We're not going to go too intensely. Just keep your legs crossed. Curl your lower um, abdominals in like you've got a little tail. Inhale. Exhale. Take it on back. No direct procedure. Inhale. Exhale. Take those knees all the way down. Roll the shoulders back. Bhajangasana. Squeeze those elbows into your sides. Lift your chin up. So you hear that yogic breath, exhale, let's pull back, tuck our toes under, look back at your feet, extend the arms, and then squeeze your heart together from right to left. So take advantage of these breaths, because they won't be so ha-ha very funny. And five, exhale, bend the knees. Let's go ahead and just walk to the center of our mat. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, samasthihi. Now you can keep your block directly in front of you there, but I'm gonna turn around because otherwise you won't see me all the way. So I have my block just here. You can make it a little bit higher, it doesn't matter. You want it lower if you're not used to doing this with your body. So what we're gonna do is do the same thing. We're gonna lift the leg up as much as we can. You're more than welcome to use a wall if you need to. Interlace the fingertips, inhale, and then exhale. Inhale, and then exhale. Inhale, and exhale. So keep this motion going. You can even smile and act like you really enjoy this and you like listening to my voice and it's not very haunting. I've had tell, people tell me that they hear my voice in the emergency room. Sounds kind of scary, huh? But they're like, yeah, I thought I was going to go and I heard this voice come out. And it was like, just breathe. I was like, you sure that wasn't a song on the radio? And switch, 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 switch. So if you're a runner, this is actually really good for your hamstrings because you're helping lengthening through the middle of your body, through your psoas major lift lift but don't start to do this or anything no we're not like <laughs> lift <laughs> lift and lift now hold wherever you're at so what i'm going to do is is i'm going to put my foot right there so it's just a little guard now if your balance is at that level keep it there otherwise i want you to lift up as much as you can nothing too major all right, now we're going to have fun. You ready? So you can have a rest whenever you need it. Don't kick it over. All right, so here we go. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Why does this hurt my left butt cheek? Oh, it's strengthening my glutes. One, two, three, four. Exhale. Hoof. High off the mountaintop. There you are. Okay, now come down. Here we are, chim chimney chim chimney, chim chim tree. Now I'm just gonna hang out here and you can do it. Come on, I believe in you. Oh, no, I'm kidding. All right, point. Easy side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Smile. Don't let face be the pose. One, two, three, four. Again, ow. One, two, Three, four, exhale. Oh, hey, Matisse. Down. <sighs> Breathe. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And bring it to your heart. Anjali Mudra. Oh, beautiful. Namaste. You want to go through that again if you feel funky fresh i believe in you i'm not going to do it but you know what you're going to do you're going to subscribe you're going to follow me and don't worry i will not leave you for figgy pudding or stuffing or anything like that because you know i'm trying to motivate you by wearing baggy pants and a sports bra so come on namaste <laughs>